All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Taiwan Honor Cup. My name is Jeff Thrower. With me is Unctious, and we're about to get into Game 3 of Slayer's KDY versus Spider's DS. And Unctious... Complete slugfest. Sorry, I had you muted. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I was trying to say some really insightful things. I, I was, like, waiting for you to come in, and I was like, where's Unctious? Uh, oh, oh, I have him muted. Fantastic. Deprived me. Of, of knowledge. Anyway, going on to GSL's Daybreak, you know that this is my favorite map, and this is going to be a freaking awesome game, KDY showing um, that he was amazing in the first game, Spider showing that he can be super aggressive, uh, dropping all over the place, being completely relentless, and force uh, KDY to really test that APM of his. Right, and spawning on the northern side, the Terran that was just mentioned by the Fantastic Unctious, he's a wonderful player, a very, very strong and aggressive player. He is Spider's DS. DS! And spawning on the south western corner we've seen some really great creep spread some really great macro and just fantastic all-around play from this yellow zerg slayers kdy kdy all right Man. both of these players are uh have abbreviation names <laughs> astute observation my fellow co caster <laughs> I, 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 you can't slip nothing by me <laughs> certainly not um so my question is will we see hatch first um i Kind of think so. Yeah, Daybreak's a good map for that kind of a thing. Although the map doesn't look that large, um, the actual paths that you need to take are pretty zigzaggy, and it's pretty hard to get units over to your opponent's base. So mm -hmm. Hatch First is a reasonable build on this sort of a map. And I, I also expect we'll see the Command Center, or well, one Rax Command Center once again, as the Command Center... <laughs> oh my god, the Rax is going down now. There it is. Oh, <laughs> redefining the metagame, that Rax. <laughs> Changing everything. Yes. This game is going to go down in the books. <laughs> anyway, this is uh, the last game in this best of three. Yeah. We're at the rubber match right now. Yeah, so I mean, whoever wins this is going to go on to the uh, the finals. And there it is, hatch first. Fantastic. Yeah, the, there goes the hatchery just feeling real safe, saying, eh, I'm not going to worry about it. Maybe I should stick with my uh, my creep style. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I'd really like to see him out of see him pull that off again. I'd like to see that quadruple queen spreading creep across this map. You know, especially a map like this where we have these these nice attack paths around the sides and through the middle and everything. Really nice creep spread could really, really make a difference on this map. Oh yeah, absolutely. Now, would you say that KDY is creepy? <laughs> that was such a good joke. <laughs> Dude, I was working on that since the last commercial break oh, like, before it. the last game. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, alright. Yes, I would. <laughs> I hate myself sometimes. <laughs> for the, right, for so, the record, yeah, yeah. It's a pretty creepy guy. This is, <laughs> so, this uh, DS SCV coming in right now, seeing everything. SDS SCV. Hmm. Gonna see that that hatch was down. I believe he did get vision of that, and he's gonna see the, the timing on that pool. Sees no gases are down quite yet, which means that speed's gonna be a little bit delayed, but that'll be just fine. Yeah. And I mean, since Spider DS likely has a uh, good understanding of the fundamental timings of StarCraft II, he, uh, he probably knows it was the hatch first. So, yes, so indeed. Gonna be able to use that information and know that he is safe to macro himself. Um, the command, or the orbital command, sorry, the command center, about halfway done in the natural right now. Why? Why do I keep on messing up every time I try and say command center? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's up. Should get that checked out. All right, after the scam. Uh, I think there's a cure for that. All right, so we have these two refineries have gone down, so it looks like DS is going to be interested in teching up. We see a factory immediately on the way um, coming down for him. So mm -hmm. uh, also a reactor, so going for the reactor hel hel helium opening. It looks like yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, which you know is something that we sort of saw him do first game. We saw him pump out four helions and try and deny creep, though was quite unsuccessful in doing so. So, uh, will this be a repeat? We have two queens on the way and two already and out. Two queens out, yep. yeah. fantastic. So, Slayer's KDY, gonna get that creep spread going again. Yeah, I mean, he's gonna be able to take over this map very quickly. He already has map control, but then his units are gonna be able to swarm right on top of that. So, I am so excited what we're gonna what we're gonna see out of this. this in fact, the same exact thing is happening, too, with the, uh, the Lings running in. Mule did get dropped on the natural. Um... And it didn't die. I mean, I don't think he dropped a second mule down there, and I don't think that went down. But no. All right, so two Hellions coming out and seven drones. KDY just droning up as hard as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, he will get a complete scout on those gas timings. He saw the reactor, uh, reactor factory, the refactory, if you will. Yes. And 
I mean, he's going to know exactly how he wants to respond. And did he see the starport? Uh, I'm going to check his vision real quick, actually. No, he did not see the starport go down, so that's a, a little bit of knowledge that Spider-DS has that Slayer's KDY does not. So, um, I mean, fast medevacs, I would expect, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, I mean, that, that tech lab also going down on the... Uh... On the barracks, will he lift it? He does lift it, so that starport's going to go straight for that um, Ooh, that reactor. So we're going to go for some Banshee lab, play. Rather. Yeah, either going for the Banshee. Maybe he wants to get that Raven out. Maybe he learned <laughs> from his mistakes and knows that he actually shouldn't ever mess around with KDY's creep spread. If he gets a Raven, I would be very happy. But no cloaked Banshees, as I would have suspected. So a um, little bit of a later cloaked Banshee play. Um, kind of a one 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 going on here. Yeah, that's what it looks like. I mean, he's going to be able to get out a bunch of units. He does have a couple Hellions moving across the map right now. Uh, he hit four total looking at that um, mm -hmm. looking at that hatchery, just kind of staring at it. I mean, they will just not wondering. be able to deny it, that's for sure, especially with these queens down here. But uh, they may be able to deny us creep spread, which could be crucial with this uh, early game push that he's inevitably going to be going for. Now, the question is, if this is going to be some serious 1-1-1 one, one, one aggression, uh, is KDY going to be able to defend that third base, or even at his natural? Right. Um, the question is, does DS push right through that third, or does he go straight up the middle and try to do some damage with yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, this isn't going to be crazy, crazy aggression, as we see that a third command center has gone down for Spider DS. So while he has this sort of 1-1-1-esque one, one, one composition, uh, I'm not sure he's going to be doing the typical 1-1-1 one, one, one techniques with it. No, not at all. I mean, he's he is poking around with these uh, with these aliens, and he does have that banshee out already, just right on top of them. Uh, Cloak is only about twenty seconds from finishing, so once that does finish, let's see. Uh, Evo Chamber's on the way, uh, right. and that's going to be the saving grace. I mean, I mean that no Evo layer Chamber. or anything. That's for sure. Yeah, no. So uh, he's going to need to get some spore crawlers out as soon as possible. And he does see the Banshees, so he should be able to react almost immediately. Uh, the Evo Chamber has finished, and yes, poor crawlers are now going down. He may be able to deny this third, but will that be enough? He, he's probably not going to get any drones. I mean, uh, I think I think what KDY is going to try to do is, as best he can is lure that Banshee away with those queens. Say, hey, come kill my queens, just don't kill my third at this right. point. We do see a ton more Hellions coming out, though, and they're going to be able to move in, do some serious damage to that spine crawler. The spine crawler does fall, and they're going to go straight for that hatchery now. Yeah, I mean, the Hellions do nothing to buildings, but there are so, so many of them that they are Clutch able... Transfuse. Yeah, yeah, some good transfuses coming out of KDY. And uh, trying to deny this spore crawler, and he will be able to do so as more transfuses go down from KDY. Will this third base fall? That's the question. I think the answer is yes. Yeah, it should be going down, and KDY is not really going to have too much to deal with it right now. He is going with this very, very qu heavy queen style, but those queens are dying very quickly. They're all very low on energy, getting their last transfuses out. In fact, trying to target down that, that high energy queen was with some really great micro, but what does KDY have left right now? He's about to lose his third. He's lost all of his queens. He's down to just a few links, uh, trying to do any damage whatsoever. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think he has anything on the field right now. Um, no, let's look at the unit count. He has no aggressive units, although a bunch of lings just spawned. But, I mean, what are 20 lings going to do against a bunch of Hellions and Banshees? Not much. Yeah, yeah not much at all. Just line them up, those Hellions are saying. We can we can hit angles really, really hardcore. And what I love about this is that behind all of this, uh, DS is actually transitioning out of this. He He's getting out um, those medevacs as quickly as possible, and that's going to open up multiple opportunities. Is he going to go for a push with the stim and plus one, or is he going to try to do that very, very hyper-aggressive uh, drop style that we saw coming out from him in his previous games? Right, I mean, he does have this third command center up as well. Um, it should be noted that he didn't move it out yet. He's just been using it to make SCVs. But as a result, he has 48 SCVs and four mules versus only 48 drones, so it has the vastly superior economy, and a very effective army. Spider DS in a very, very f uh, strong position right now. Oh yeah, and these Hellions even moving back in right now, saying, I'm not going to finish uh, off right now. In fact, they, they might be able to... Uh... Oh, is that surround going to go down right now? Mm, going into a quite. corner to try to kill as many as possible. Man, those Hellions are super slippery, but they should be able to take out the rest of these Hellions. Those Banshees, though, are going to be a different thing altogether. The Spore Crawler coming up, uh, but in fact, just getting killed uh, yeah. pretty much immediately. This third base is once again in contention. Uh, nothing to detect, and these Banshees still have a decent amount of energy. Although, they should probably decloak for the moment, since there's no detection. But hey, whatever. Just denying the third base. Solid stuff. Yeah, don't DS. mind me. Yeah. <laughs> don't mind me. Just uh, killing your third. Hmm. Uh, is that going to get cancelled? The Spore Crawler does come down, but... It's not going to be in range. Uh, 
No, it's only flying detection, and the queens just say, you know what, screw it, I'm not even that interested. Oh, he, he wants to finish. He wants to finish. Ooh. I... That's an unbelievable decision. I don't know if <laughs> I like that at all. No, certainly not. I mean, look at the money of Slayer's KDY. He has tons of money, tons of gas, because he has nothing to spend it on. His economy is totally out of whack. His, his strategy for this game, undoubtedly, totally out of whack. And, Spire uh, Pops. Yeah, Spire mm. Pops, but, I mean, he just made a ton of mutas, 11 on the way. But, I mean, there's plenty of Marines uh, and plenty of Medivacs and Spider-DS now taking his uh, aggressively positioned third. Yeah, I mean, that uh, that's just a response to the fact that, like, maybe if my opponent knows that I want to expand here and he's been attacking there, he'll just kind of miss this thing up in the upper, right, uh, upper left-hand corner, rather. All right. And, uh, you know, if I double expand, maybe I can get back into this, but I really need to want to watch this... Uh, I really need to watch this Mutaflock wherever it decides to go. Mm -hmm. And we see that the rocks are being taken down in the midfield by Spider's DS right now, so he's opening up some more attack paths for himself, as he knows he's in quite the strong position. But Indeed, just going to be able to... T oh, go ahead. I was going to say, 30 supply lead on top of everything else. Yeah. I mean, he's he's in such a commanding position, he's going to be able to push wherever he wants, and if he attacks, these Mutas aren't... I mean, they definitely shouldn't stick around and try to do damage over here, I don't think, anyway. Mm -hmm. um, missile turrets on the way. Are they going to be able to take out uh, this, this tech lab before it, it does anything? Nope, they're going to get scared and move away. He does see that his opponent's moving on to his creep and try to take out a few of these wings, uh, and excuse me, a few of these uh, marines that were moving across the map. He will be able to kill those, but, I mean, meanwhile, DS not even worried about it. He's just moving on forward. He has siege tech completed. He's going to be able to, to siege up right outside of his opponent's natural. Yeah, I mean, this third base for Spider-DS is actually quite vulnerable, but Slayer's <coughs> KDY not taking advantage of that quite yet. Even, look at these mutas just flying away. They could be killing tons of SCVs right now, but Slayer's KDY just not aware. Instead, going to go back and try and deny his, or defend his natural base, which is maybe falling right now as the Marines, Sam, and Tanks are, in fact, doing damage as well. Down to about 2 thirds HP right now, but he has to focus on these Banelings coming in. Banelings getting some decent connections. Yes, a lot of the Marines are falling. All the takes did go down as well, and the Mutas are going to move on in, try to take out those uh, 